redial. To redial the same number that you just called, take the phone off hook. Then press the send button or press the redial soft key on the phone screen. Please note, the phone will redial using the same SIP account as was used for the previous call. Answering calls. Here we will show you how to answer calls. To answer a single incoming call, physically take the handset or headset off hook. You can also press the speaker button to answer a call, or you can press the corresponding line key to answer a call. To answer multiple incoming calls, when there is an additional incoming call or call waiver, users will hear the call waiver. Pressing the line key that corresponds to each call. Ending a call. To end a call, simply hang up the phone or simply press the end call soft key. Hold and resume a call. To place any call on hold, simply press the hold button. To resume any call that was placed on hold, Simply press the corresponding blinking line key. Adjusting the volume of your phone. Use the volume button to adjust the ring volume when the phone is idle or not in call. Press the volume button during an active call. has been muted. Transferring calls. When you are in a call and wish to transfer the call to another party, there are three ways to transfer that call. Blind transfer, attended transfer, and auto attended transfer. To complete a blind transfer, simply press the transfer button on the phone. Then, dial the number or extension Press a line key for an unused line to make a new call. The current call will automatically be placed on hold. Using this unused line, place a call to the number you wish to transfer the call to. Once the call is established, press the transfer button followed by the line key you wish to transfer the call to. To complete an auto-attended transfer, you must have this feature enabled on the phone's web user interface. Start an attended transfer by establishing a call. Then, press the transfer key to bring up a new line in which the first call will automatically be placed on hold. Then, dial the number you wish to transfer the call to and press the send button to establish that call. Press the transfer key again to make the transfer. Conferencing. This part of the video will show you how to initiate a three-way conference call or a four-way conference call if you are using a GXP1630. These instructions assume that you are already in a conversation and wish to bring a third or fourth party into your conversation. To start a three-way conference, press the conference button to bring up the conference dialing screen. Then, dial the third party number and select the send key. When the call is established to the third party, press the conf control soft key to initiate the three-way conference. If you're using a GXP1630, simply repeat the previous three steps to add a fourth party into your conference. To cancel a conference call, press cancel soft key on the conference dialing screen to resume a two-way conversation. To place the conference and all attendees on hold, press the hold button. Press the reconf soft key on the phone screen to resume the conference call. 
You can also select the corresponding blinking line key to speak with any individual party. To officially end the conference for all participants, hang up or press the end call soft key. This will end or terminate the conference call for all parties. Checking your voicemail. A blinking red message waiting indicator means a new voicemail has been received or is waiting. To access that voicemail, press the message button on the phone to retrieve the message. An auto attendant will walk you through the process of retrieving your message. To retrieve messages for a specific line, simply press the specific line key associated with that line or SIP account. Please note, each voicemail account requires a portal number to be configured in the voicemail user ID field of the device's web user interface. That concludes this quick video guide of Grandstream's GXP1600 series of basic IP phones.